Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Simple Stories design team. And I am going to be working with the My Story collection, which is brand new, and it is super amazing. I love this color palette and it was so fun to work with. So um, when I was going through the pattern papers, I found a bunch of patterns that I liked that I wanted to highlight on to my layout or on my layout. So I thought it would be fun to cut um, a bunch of thin strips uh, of all of the patterns. So I think it was like maybe a half an inch to a quarter of an inch um, thickness wise. And so all I'm doing is trimming down all of those papers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere them to a piece of white textured cardstock. But I'm going to do a little bit of a different design for this layout and you'll see here in just a second. So I'm sorry, um, <laughs> my computer is not catching up with my um, video. So hopefully this voiceover goes with what you're saying versus what I'm saying. Um, okay, so I cut all my paper strips. I have them all arranged on my white uh, cardstock and then um, I'm going to adhere them all down and then I'm going to take a large bowl, like super high tech, right? I took a large bowl from my kitchen. I traced it and then I, um, I trimmed it out. So it's got this like fun dome shape, um, where I plan on putting my photo and embellishments. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and, um, add some mixed media. At first I was going to do some ink blending. That's why you see my ink blending brushes. Um, but then I just decided just to watercolor on, um, these inks. So I used dried marigold, scattered straw, and speckled egg. I thought those matched pretty nicely. And I'm just going to quickly and, uh, um, quickly paint and splatter the colors on just kind of cascading down um, my page um, so super simple I did take a uh, paper towel and I did sop up some of the wetness just so it could dry a lot faster but then also so it wasn't so thick okay so um, yeah just continuing to splatter and I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the background uh, it's about ready it's about time for his walk okay so I did run um, did I do it yet? I did run all of the strips like through my sewing machine just to add some stitching just for some texture and just to kind of like, I don't know, make each of those strips um, stand out a little bit. And then now I'm taking my photo, which is me and uh, my camera, uh, just because I love to take photos. That's like always been a passion of mine ever since like, I don't even know <laughs> when I was like in middle school, probably. Um, so I thought that would be like a perfect photo for this collection and then for this layout. So I matted uh, the photo with one of the six by eight paper pads and then I liked the, uh, the back side of it with this pretty green. So I'm going to take that uh, scrap and layer it behind my photo. I just like that pop of green. All right, so um, now I'm going to go ahead and embellish or kind of get an idea of what I want on the rest of my layout. So I pulled out the journal bits pack which I've mentioned before is one of like my favorite um, embellishments from the Simple Stories collections. They're just uh, great layering pieces in there. And um, so I wanted to kind of get an idea of what I wanted behind my photo. But of course I was looking at um, like my title choices and I chose the This Is Me sticker from the cardstock uh, sticker sheet and I put foam behind it. Um, but before I go ahead and adhere that down, I'm going to go ahead and get my, um, photo, um, down so that I can arrange, uh, my title. So it says, this is me because of course <laughs> this is me. And I thought it'd be fun just to kind of, um, put it at an angle and it really pops on top of all of those layers. So I like how that turned out. So next I took the floral bits, um, pack and I pulled out uh, some of the floral pieces just to go ahead and start building an embellishment cluster to the right of my photo. So I'm going to tuck in some of those and then I'm also going to add some to the left and right side of my title just to kind of um, highlight it a little bit to kind of have your all, your eyes drawn over there as well. I mean not like you need to because it pops so much but I thought it needed a little something something uh, um, behind it. So I'm just uh, going through this uh, foam sticker sheet. I did see some butterflies that I wanted to add. So I am going to go ahead and add those on to um, my photo and then have the other one going up, like up the page. This collection is so cute. I love that just forest green with like the light pinks and you know the peach and the pops of the black and white. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so much fun with this um, layout. So I, there was like this like empty spot 
um, underneath my photo. Um, and I thought it would be fun to fill it with some of those fray stickers from the 12 by 12 um, sticker sheet. So I added a few of those. And then, um, what else do I add? I don't think there's too much else that I add. I do add some decorative brads, um, which you'll see here in just a second. Oh, and then I do add some tangled thread, of course. <laughs> um, it just, I mean, I say this in every video, it adds extra color and extra pop of texture. Uh, and I just like the look of it. I, it's messy and I like tucking them underneath my embellishments. So here are those decorative brads that I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in. They're so cute. Oh this, oh, this collection is just so dang pretty. Like, oh, I can't wait to use it again. Okay, so I'm gonna get those on. And then because there are pops of black, I of course had to add some black paint. So I brought out my Dana Wakely black acrylic paint spray and I splattered that in. And I think that's it. Yeah, I like, I like all of the strips. I thought it was a fun design and then cutting it into a circle, adding the stitching. Um, I just, I like adding a bunch of pattern and to me when they're put together like this, it's so cohesive and it just works and it's not too busy. So, um, here's an up close shot. Stay tuned for the final layout and then, um, more, uh, up close still shots. And thank you so much for watching, commenting and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.